Brian Nickel back here at Fort Morgan High School as we will set our attention here now to the boys game. The girls game just got over as they fell 46-36 to to the Erie Tigers. Fort Morgan Mustang boys come in 1-7 and seven in league play. They uh, came off a nice win uh, the other night against Roosevelt. They are 4-11 and 11 overall, 1-7 one, one and seven in league. Averaging 49.5 points a game, giving up 57.8 points a game. Erie comes in at 6 and 9 overall, 2 and 6 in league, averaging 59.7 points a game and giving up 65.6 points a game. The first game that's the uh, first time these two teams met this year, the Erie Tigers won that one 71 to 58. That was a 38 to 19 lead for the for the Tigers at halftime. Fort Morgan outscored Erie 39 to 33. They had a big uh, fourth quarter. I believe they outscored Erie 25 to 13 in that fourth quarter. So they just need to play a full game here and try to put uh, put another win in the uh, column here for the boys as they uh, will go up against Erie. I said they were six and nine overall, two and six in league, but. A game if the boys will just uh, play a full game and not uh, not come up short in a in one of the quarters uh, should be a should be a good contest here tonight as they're getting ready here to introduce players. We'll see if we can get some. Some players here for the Erie Tigers. Excuse me. Okay, starting tonight for the uh, Erie Tigers will be senior Ethan Tyson, sophomore Cole Rademacher. Uh, let's see, that's going to be a sophomore Jordan Guyen. And then there will be a sophomore, Cale Lucero, along with sophomore, Kevin Loy. And, and they are coached by Scott Mellon. His assistant coaches are Jimmy Lucero, Matt Como, David Foster, and Todd Goad. And leading scorers for the Erie Tigers is Kevin Loy. He averages 15.1 points a game. Ethan Tyson with 10.8 points a game. Now they're introducing the the uh, Erie Tigers. Also, uh, 9.7 points a game is Jordan. Uh, guy in. Now the starting lineups for your Fort Morgan Mustangs. And that will be Jacob Ortega Jr. Along with uh, junior guard David Serenana and junior Caden Edson, Nick Norris, For your Fort Morgan Mustangs, a junior along with senior Isaac Linker for the Mustangs tonight. As far as leading scorers for the Mustangs, that will be Nick Norris with 11.8. Uh, Fernando Marquez, a freshman, averages 7.2. Then Isaac Linker at 6.5 points a game. But Nick Norris with a big game the other night, uh, 15 points, and I believe he had 21 rebounds. So Nick Norris... Uh, leads the Mustangs in the rebounding department. He has 121 point, 121 rebounds, excuse me, on the year for the Mustangs. So Nick Norris will jump center. The opening tip is brought to you by Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance. Things happen in life. And make sure you're prepared with the right insurance coverage. Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance in Brush and Fort Morgan. So we will get started here is Nick Norris and Erie comes away with the 
opening tip. And into the lane now on the far side is Lucero. Up top is Tyson. Going to be Tyson with a little jumper. That is going to be up and good for Tyson. So the Mustangs in the front court. Sari Nana, that ball is going to be tipped and retained by the Mustangs, but will be taken away on a bad pass into the lane. Pass underneath, that is going to be up and good by Loy. So quickly, four to nothing here. Tigers, the ball is going to be knocked out of bounds here on the near side, so Fort Morgan will retain possession. I'm not sure what they're. Yeah, I think the ball got wet. I guess. I'm not sure what they're. Looks like they're going to change basketballs. I'm not sure what they're. They're saying. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're changing basketballs here. To start this out, that other one might have been. Deflated maybe a little bit. I'm not sure. I didn't. I didn't know Tom Brady was in the house, but maybe he was. But now they're still trying to check basketballs here. I guess they finally found one that they like. So Fort Morgan to inbounds here near side in front of the Erie bench. They get it into Serenana. <coughs> Serenana, they hit to the. Uh, Man-to-man defense by Erie. Now Ortega out on the high left wing. That ball is going to be tipped. It's going to be taken by the Mustangs. Retained. Now a reach foul. And that foul, I believe, was on Cole Rademacher. Mustangs get the ball in. Two linker now to Serenana at the point. Keeps that dribble alive. Behind the back. Now over to Linker to Edson. Ball tipped away momentarily. Oh, and that ball is going to be well over the head of over the head of uh, Jacob Ortega. So two turnovers here by the Mustangs. They're down four to nothing here. With just over six and a half left here in this first period. Rademacher. Oh, that ball. His guy was cutting to the basket. That was Kevin Loy, and Rademacher threw it to the where he had been and not where he was going, so turnover by Erie. As they get the ball into Serenana in the backcourt, down 4 to nothing. are the Mustangs. Lady Mustangs went down 46-36. Serenana picks it up, gives it off to Linker. Now underneath... To Edson, that up and good, and he is fouled on the shot, but Edson with the bucket. And that foul is going to be on Nugent. So Edson to the line to shoot one. He can make this a one point game and does. Four to three as full court pressure by the Mustangs. They get the ball into Nugent. Layup is going to be up and good at the other end by Loy. So they broke that fairly easy. Now pressure by the Erie Tigers. They're up 6-3. to three. Ortega with the ball. Now gives it off to Serenana. Serenana picks it up. Gives it to Linker over on the far side. Now to Ortega with a 3. And that is off the basket and no good. Rebounded to Loy. Nugent gets the ball up into the front court. Going to drive it down. That ball is going to be tipped out of bounds off of Serenana. So the Tigers will inbounds near side in front of the Mustangs bench. 540 left here first period. Mustangs down 6-3. to three. Into the hands now of Rademacher. Lucero now cross court. Now it's going to be underneath and... Finally going to be taken away by Nick Norris. Nice job there by Norris to stick with it. So two turnovers apiece here so far for each team. 
Tega picks up the dribble now, gives it off to Linker. Linker to Serenana, far side. Serenana is going to drive it left up. Left handed layup is up and good for Serenana. So into the front court to Lloyd. Lloyd's going to drive it all the way down. His shot is going to. Oh, that was a late foul call. Man, they're going to call it on Norris, but. They didn't call the blow the whistle until the ball was coming down for a rebound. So, so Loy will go to the line to shoot two. 4.58 to go. First period, the shot is going to be up and good for Loy. So Loy with free throw number two coming up here as the Tigers lead seven to five. And that one is up and also good. So six points so far tonight for Loy. <clears throat> As the Mustangs look to get the ball in, they finally get it into Edson in the back court. He gets up into the front court, gives it off to Ortega, now to Serenana. Serenana with the uh, right-handed dribble, picks it up. And that ball is going to be taken away on the bad pass to the lane. And now Erie will throw it away on the baseball pass down court. So the freshman, Fernando Marquez, comes in for Serenana. As the Mustangs will inbounds far end. Get it into Norris. Now back over to Linker. So Marquez with the right-handed dribble brings it up into the front court. Keeps that dribble alive. Nice job by Marquez. Gets it off now to Ortega. Ortega picks up his dribble, gives it off to Linker out at the point. Linker picks up his dribble. Now it's going to be to Marquez. Back to Linker. Ortega now back to Norris. Norris underneath. Up and good for Nick Norris. As Norris goes up strong. Nice job on the far side by Marquez to knock that ball out of bounds. Fort Morgan's going to have to figure out that press because Erie has two guys down court and one of them is usually wide open. So now they're going to get the ball underneath. It's going to be poked away by Edson. So the Tigers will inbound right baseline of their basket leading 8-7. to seven. So They look to get the ball in. Now an illegal screen is going to be called. And that will be on Cale Lucero, his first. Mustangs get the ball into Nick Norris in the backcourt as he looks to get the ball into the hands now of Edson. Edson with that left-handed dribble off to Linker. Linker's going to give it off to Marquez. Almost out of the half line. Now he's going to give it off to Linker. Linker's going to drive it down. His layup is going to be oh, in and out, but rebounded by Nick Norris. Nice job by Norris on the rebound. And put back. And now a foul on the back court. I believe that's going to be on Jacob Ortega. His first, team second. So inbounding on the far side will be Tristan Rademacher as he gets it into the hands of, I would guess, a brother, Cole Rademacher. Now on the near side to Loy. And that shot is going to be up and good for Ethan Tyson. Mustangs get the ball into Linker now. Baseball pass down to Norris. Norris with the dribble. His layup is going to be up and good for Nick Norris. They could have called a foul there, but did not. So Mustangs up now 11 to 10. They're going to call a travel on Cale Lucero. So into the game now is Noah Rojo for Jacob Ortega. As Isaac Linker gets, looks to get the ball in, they need to get it in. They do get it into Rojo. Back to Linker, 2.50 to go. Left more things up 11 to 10. Hands it off to Rojo, Rojo or excuse me, Marquez. 
Nice job by Marquez. He got pinned in the corner, but he knocked it off the leg of one of the Erie Tigers. So now the Mustangs will inbound near side. Get it into Marquez in the back court. Man-to-man defense by Erie. Now to Rojo in the corner. To Norris. Norris up. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Nick Norris. That will be his second. We'll see if they bring Norris out. They will. They will bring in Andres Dubray. But Nick Norris, their leading scorer, plus their leading rebounder, will be on the bench probably at least for this last two and a half of the first <coughs> period. Layup is going to be up and no good. They're going to call a foul on the ground, I believe. They're going to call that foul on Rojo. <coughs> so now Erie will inbound right baseline and just right by their basket. That is Ethan Tyson to throw it in. And they do get it into the corner. Let's see who that is. That is Mendoza. Now back out to Rademacher. Over on the far side to Brooks. Up top to Tyson. Now back to Brooks. Brooks out on the left high wing. He's going to give it off over on the other side to Mendoza. His shot up and no good. Going to be tipped around and taken away by Rademacher. Now over on the far side. And that three is off the side of the rim and no good. Rebounded by Brooks. Back out front to Tyson. With a minute 36, the Mustangs lead it 11 to 10. Looked to get it underneath, but did not. Rademacher out front being guarded by Marquez. And that shot is going to be up and good by Tristan Rademacher. His first bucket of the night. Nice job by Edson to save that ball. Rojo over in the corner is going to drive it down. Layup is up and no good, but he is going to be fouled on the layup. And that will send Rojo to the line. And that foul was on Mendoza, his first, team fourth. So Rojo to the line to shoot a pair. The first Fort Morgan basket of the game is brought to you by Cargill Meat Solutions. That free throw is no good. Cargill works with the community to make sure there are jobs for the members of the communities they're in. So Edson comes out. And Serenana back into the game for the Mustangs. So Rojo was shot number two. And that is up and good for Rojo. His first point of the night. Should tie it up here at 12. So here he with the ball into the front court with Rademacher. Tristan Rademacher. Now a foul out front on the a hold. And that will be on Marquez, his first. Team fifth. Erie with four. Fort Morgan with five. Now to Brooks. He is going to be called for the shuffle of the feet. And turn over to the Mustangs. The Mustangs with a minute left here are all tied up at 12. They get it to Marquez in the backcourt. Being guarded by Hargrave. Marquez just a freshman. He handles that ball real well. And that shot is going to be up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Brooks. Not a good shot selection there by Marquez. He got kind of caught on the baseline. So Hargrave now over into the... Oh, that ball is going to be taken away. It's going to be given back. That layup is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Linker. With 22 seconds left. All tied up here at 12. Serenana underneath the linker. Linker has it knocked away momentarily. Gets it back down to Marquez with nine seconds left. Eight seconds. So Marquez drops it off to Dupre. Now to Rojo for a three. And that is off the rim and no good. Rebound up and good by Andres Dupre. And it will count. Dupre with the 
rebound and the bucket to put the Mustangs up 14 to 12 as we go to period number two on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. 14 to 12 as we start this second period of play into the game now for the Mustangs will be Adam Cardona. Isaac Winker will take a seat. So have Caden Edson, Andres Dubray, Jacob Ortega, uh, David Sarinana, and Cardona on the floor for the Mustangs. That ball is saved over in the corner by Dubray. Now to Sarinana out on the right wing as we get off to Jacob Ortega. Ortega picks up his dribble and he gets it off uh, back to Serinana out at the top. That ball is going to be tipped away, but retained by Serinana. Back over to Cardona. That ball is... They're going to call a foul before any shot was taken on Erie. And they called that on Mendoza. That will be his second. So Nugent in for... Mendoza. They get the ball into Dubray. Edson with a little jumper from the left baseline is up and no good. Gonna, they're going to call a foul on Serinana. Uh, who'd they call? Oh, they. They apparently called that on Nugent on backing out. Now the turnover is going to be taken away by Erie, and that shot is going to be up and good by Hargrave, his first bucket of the night. So 14 to 14, sorry, Nana picks up his dribble, now to Ortega, now to Dubray on the right baseline, his jumper is in and out, rebounded by Cardona, his shot is going to go out. And now a foul. Committed by the Mustangs. And I believe that went on Dubray. That will be his first. Team sixth. Each was six personal fouls. Now Nugent up into the front court. Gives it off to Hargrave. Hargrave being guarded by... Cardona. Now that three is going to be up and good by Tyson. First three of the night in the game. Sorry, not up. Now to Edson for the three, and that is up and good. Caden Edson for three from the right wing. So he answers the three just taken by Erie. So another three is going to be up, and that is up and good. This one by Ethan Tyson. So back-to-back -back threes for Tyson. Mustangs with the ball in the front court. Now, oh, they're going to call a blocking foul on Erie. And that will be Hargrave with his first. Team seventh, so that will send Surrey not out of the line to shoot a one-and-one. With 5.55 to go here in the second period. Tigers are up 20 to 17, and that's off the front of the rim, and no good. Going to be rebounded by Serinana. She runs it down. Now to Dubray, now to Edson. Edson on the left wing, hands it off to Dubray. Dubray to Serinana. Now into the right corner to Ortega. Oop, that ball is going to be kicked. So that will be retained by the Mustangs. So substitutions here for Erie. He has Cole Rademacher, Kale Lucero, and Kevin Loy come into the game. Tigers are up 20 to 17. Get the ball into Cardona. Oh, and that ball was taken right out of the hands of Cardona. Now the layup is going to be up and oh, up and no good. But a foul was called. And that will go on Ortega. That will be his second. So that will send Lloyd to the line to shoot two. As I see Clinker and Simon Graff are ready to come in. 
right after this free throw by Loy. And that free throw is up and good. Buildings by Design, when it comes to experience, Buildings by Design is the best in the business. Quality, commitment, and experience makes Buildings by Design the only choice when it comes to your next project. So Lloyd with the dribble, and now the shot, and that is also up and good. He is 4-4 four four from the free throw line. Eight points on the night for Loy. Up 22-17. The Mustangs don't want to let this get away from him here in this second quarter. They need to put some points on the board now underneath the linker. And that shot is going to be blocked by, Link, by uh, uh, Erie and finally taken away by Serenana. He picks up his dribble. Now he gets it into Simon Graff. It's going to be taken away from Graff. And, now, oh, and then they're going to call a travel on Nugent. Morgan to inbounds. They get it into Serenana in the backcourt. Mustangs down 5, 22 17 with 4.53 to go, second period. Get it off to Marquez, now to Graf, now to Edson for a three, and that is going to be off the back of the rim and no good. Going to be tipped around and taken by Marquez. It was tipped by Linker, but Marquez finally came down with it. Graf now to Marquez. Ball is going to be tipped away, but retained by Marquez. Now to Linker. Linker is going to drive it. His shot is going to be up and good by Linker. So Linker's first bucket of the night, 22-19. And now a jumper from the... It's going to be taken up and no good. It's going to be rebounded by Linker. Marquez back out to Linker out at the point. Now over to Serenana on the left wing. Keeps that dribble alive back behind the back dribble. Serenana to Edson. Edson's going to drive it down. Now to Marquez for a two. And that's off the rim and no good. Out of bounds off of Erie. So the Mustangs will retain possession and inbound right baseline of their basket with Caden Edson. With 3.51 to go, 22 to 19. I'm not sure who they were talking to about. They were wanting somebody to sit down on the Morgan bench, but I'm not sure who was standing up. And neither was, uh, neither did, what did Coach Schoen. So off now to Serenana out at the point. Dribbling right, right hand. Now into the lane. Layup is going to be up. Bounces around and good. For Serenana. Did you now off to Loy. Loy's going to drive it into the lane. Layup is going to be up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Linker. Into the hands of Edson. And now a foul will be called on Nugent. I have him for three, and that is three on him. So he'll be taking a seat. And into the game will be Tristan Rademacher. So only... Eight team fouls, so that will send Edson to the line to shoot a one and one. 22 21. Eh, it's going to be short and off the front of the rim, rebounded by Linker. As he, oh, they're going to call an offensive foul on Linker. Didn't look like there was a lot of contact there, but Coach Andy Schoen not agreeing with that, and I don't blame him for sure. So the Mustangs down 22 to 21. With Rademacher over on the far side. As he gets it to uh, Cole Rademacher. He's going to drive it up. And that is going to be up and good by Cole Rademacher. His first bucket of the night. Mustangs get it in backcourt to Serenana. Head fake up. It's going to be dribbled off his foot and turnover. And now a three is going to be taken off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Erie. Over into the corner now to Loy. Loy's going to drive it up and no good. And finally taken away by Linker. Five rebounds on the night for Linker unofficially. So Serenana up into the front court. And it's going to be a 30-second timeout by head coach Andy Schoen. So the coaches for the Mustangs. Andy Schoen is the head coach assisted by Jim Krakenmeyer, Greg Edson, 
T.J. Snyder and C.W. Scott. <clears throat> so the Mustangs are down by three, 24 to 21. They led the after after one, 14 to 12. So they have put seven points up on the board here in this second period. The Erie Tigers have put uh, 12 points on the board here in this second period. Eight team fouls apiece up on the board. The Mustangs will inbounds midcourt with Linker to trigger it in. He gets it into Serenana in the backcourt. 2.32 to go here in the first half. 24-21 Erie. So much different than the game that they had earlier at Erie where they were down 38-19 to at half. A much better game by the Mustangs. That shot is going to be up and no good. Rebounded and finally tipped out of bounds. They're just going to say it's off of Fort Morgan and out of bounds. So into the hands of Tristan Rademacher. She puts one finger up into the air to set up their offense. Gives it off now to Cole Rademacher. Rademacher into the lane and that left-handed shot is going to be up and good by Loy. So 26-21, five-point deficit here for the Mustangs with a minute 50 left here first half. Ball tipped away momentarily and then taken back by the Mustangs. Linker's going to drive it down now. He's going to hand it off to Graf. Graf's layup is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Lucero. Oh, this had a collision down underneath there by Marquez and Serenana. We'll see, I think Serenana is going to come out. Ortega is going to come in. Serenana must have turned an ankle there on the collision. So Tristan Rademacher to inbounds left baseline. As they do get it in now to Loy. <clears throat> up top to Alexander and that three is going to be up and good by Alexander. So an eight point deficit here now. The Mustangs let it get away from him here before the halftime. 29-21. Edson into the lane. Now going to be kicked out to Marquez. He drives the lane and now they're going to call an offensive foul on Marquez. So that will be his second. So into the game is Mendoza for Lucero. Into the game now will be Noah Rojo for Marquez. <clears throat> so Erie to inbounds here near court. They get it into Rademacher with a minute five left here. <clears throat> Excuse me. In this first half, now the ball to Mendoza. Mendoza for a three from straight on, and that is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Linker. Unofficially six rebounds for Linker. No Rojo to Dubray. Dubray with a little jumper up and good for Andres Dubray. Thought it was going to pop back out there for a minute. So six-point lead here for Erie. 29-23 with 30 seconds left here in this first period. Over in the corner is Loy being guarded by Edson. Could have called an offensive foul, and they do. The guy out by the out by the play didn't even call it. The ref underneath is the one that finally called it. But it was a push-off on Loy. That will be his first. So we'll see what the Mustangs... Baseball pass here to Edson. Edson, no foul called on the layup. Taken away and knocked out of bounds by Dubray. So the Bray stopped the pass over into the corner to Loy with 17.1 seconds left here first half, 29-23 Erie. As they look to get the ball in, they get the ball into the corner to Lucero. Now out front to Rademacher. Rademacher being guarded by Rojo. Down to eight seconds, down to six, five. 
Got to make her, that was a five second call, so a turnover. Nice job on the defense over there by Noah Rojo. Three seconds left. 29 23. See if the Mustangs can get a shot as they get it in to Rojo down to the corner to Edson. Edson's three is going to be off the back of the backboard and no good. So the Mustangs do get a look, not a good one here to end this first half as they will go into halftime down 6 29 to 29 to 23 we will take a three minute break and be back with a halftime show on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com 20 seconds left here in this uh, halftime before we get ready to get this second half underway Uh, the Mustangs will be on the court again on Tuesday night against Holy Family boys game at 7, the girls at 5.30. Holy Family comes in off a loss to Mead. Uh, Mead was a number, ranked number 10. Holy Family number 3. And Mead, I don't remember what the score was right off, but they did, Mead did beat Holy Family. I believe it was Thursday night at Holy Family. So Holy Family rated number 3 in the state, number 3 in the uh, RPI ranking. So be a tough schedule here for the Mustangs on Tuesday night, but get this one out of the way first and worry about that later so Erie with their possession here to start off this second half of play with Cole Rademacher now into the corner to Lucero Lucero is going to drive it down and kick it off into the corner now out front and Nugent with the three and that is up and no good tipped around and finally going to be taken by Serenana for his second rebound, Serenana all the way down. The layup is up and no good. Nick Norris with the rebound. His shot is up and good for Nick Norris. It's a nice job there by Norris. Underneath that layup is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Linker. The ball is going to be taken away, though, by the Tigers. And that three is in and out. Rebounded and knocked out of bounds, I believe, off of... And they said it was off of Erie. I thought maybe it was off of Linker, but Erie with the uh, knocked it out of bounds. So the Mustangs now inbound to Serenata. They're going to, ball is going to be taken away, though. Not a good pass by Nick Norris. That ball is taken away, and then that is going to be off of Mustangs and out of bounds. So Erie to inbounds, left baseline of their basket with Ethan Tyson and into Nugent that layup is going to be up but no good rebounded by Norris so two quick rebounds here by Norris in the basket 29-25 Mustangs with 640 left here in this third period now to Ortega on the right side Ortega is going to pick it up give it to Norris but it's going to be taken away that layup is going to be up and no good, but the rebound is up and also no good. Going to be rebounded and finally taken away uh, by Serenana. To Linker. Now that ball is going to be kicked around. Turnover Mustangs. And back into court, and that's going to be taken away by Serenana. As Erie threw it back in, tried to keep it from going out of bounds, threw it back in, but the Mustangs were there to retrieve it. So the Mustangs down 4, 29-25. With Ortega out at the right point. That's a five-second call on Ortega. So five turnovers here. By the Mustangs already. They're going to... Mustangs, I believe, called the timeout. So we'll take one with them with 5.54 left, third period. Mustangs down 4 on B106 and B106.com. Cole Rademacher up into the front court for the Erie Tigers. We come out of that timeout. Picks up the ball, gives it off to Loy. Now back out to Nugent on the right wing. Now we kick it back out to you know, Rademacher. The foul is going to be called on Jacob Ortega. That will be his third on the hand check. 
So here to inbound, right baseline of their basket with Tyson. Gets it into Nugent. He's going to pop for a three, and that is up and no good. Rebounded. And a foul is going to be called on the reach. Nice job there by Serenana with the rebound. And that foul is going to go on Cole Rademacher, be his second. So Linker gets it into Ortega in the backcourt. Kind of a zone press here by the Erie Tigers. You get it off to Ortega on the left wing, now to underneath to Norris. Norris, nice left-handed layup up and good for Nick Norris. Ten points on the night for Norris. Now a three from the corner, and that is going to be off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Linker. Nice night on the boards for Linker. Eight so far for Isaac Linker on the boards. Now to Serenana out at the top. 29-27. The Mustangs scored the only points here so far in this third period. Now Ortega, his shot is going to be blocked from the back. Spencer Brooks and Gavin Mendoza come in for Nugent and Lucero. So the Mustangs, the inbounds with Ortega, left baseline. They do get it in to uh, Edson. His little floater is up and good for Edson. So the Mustangs have come back and tied this thing here. Uh, They're going to have a reach foul, and that's going to be on Ortega. That will be his fourth. So they're going to have to look to pull him out here shortly. Fernando Marquez will come in for Ortega with his four fouls. No points on the night for Jacob. So Ethan Tyson to inbounds for Erie as they are scoreless here so far in this second half. And that comes up way short, taken away by Nick Norris. Now to Serenana as he gets it up into the front court so the Mustangs can take the lead here in this second half. The ball is tipped away momentarily, but taken by Serenana now over to Edson out on the high left wing. Edson's going to drive it down. His layup is going to be up and short and taken away by Loy. And that's going to be a carry turnover on Loy. And now Tristan Tra- Tristan Rademacher will come in. Four areas. They are still held scoreless here in almost the first four minutes of this Second half. So the Mustangs look to take the lead here. They get it into Edson. Edson's lap. Oh, just short. But Nick Norris with the rebound. And he is going to be fouled on the putbacks. We'll see if we can get the lead here with Nick Norris after he gets the rebound. Five on the night for Norris. And that foul will go on Brooks, his first. So Nick Norris to the line to shoot two. With 3.51 left here in this third period, and that free throw is in and out. Nick Norris on the air is shooting at 55%. These are his first two shots of the night from the free throw line, and that one is up and in. So the Mustangs do get the So they call, I don't know if it's a, not sure what the deal was. It still shows 30 to 29. I believe the point did count. It was something happened after the, after the basket on the inbounds. Little jumper from the right side is up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Linker. They get it up to uh, Marquez out on the high right wing with 3.30 left. Erie still held scoreless. Mustangs have put seven on the board here in this third period. Now they're going to kick it out to Linker for a three, and that is up and, oh, in and out. Rebounded by by Norris, then it's going to be tipped away from Norris. And taken away by the Erie Tigers. Now over into the corner, fake that three. Now underneath, and up top now to Loy. Now a three-seconds violation on the Erie Tigers. 
So we'll see if the Mustangs can take advantage of some of these turnovers here and get some more points up on the board. They're up 30-29. They do get the ball into Norris. Now gets it into Serenana up into the front court. He drives it all the way down the lane. Now to Edson for a three, and that is up and off the rim and no good. Rebounded by Norris, and off of Norris and out of bounds. But a strong rebound, and then lost it out of bounds. So a timeout has been taken here by the Erie Tigers, and it's only a 30-second timeout, so we'll just keep it right here. But the Mustangs have put seven on the board here to take the lead with 2.52 left here in the third period. Had a bucket by uh, Caden Edson, and then Nick Norris comes in and puts uh, five points up on the board. Uh, along with about four or five rebounds. He now has six rebounds on the night. Linker still leads the way with uh, uh, rebounds. I have him with nine. So defensively, the, the uh, Mustangs have done a nice job. Yuri has had some looks, but just couldn't, just haven't been able to get the ball to drop yet. So we'll see what the defense can do here is Tristan Rademacher brings the ball up into the front court. Going to drive it down that right side. He's going to pick it back out. Now he's going to give it up top to Alexander. Now to Brooks. Now back out to Kevin Loy. Rademacher on the right wing being guarded by Marquez. As Rademacher is going to pull it back out. 2.27 to go. Rademacher keeps that dribble alive. He's going to Go to the corner now. He's going to kick it out. And the three is going to be taken by Tyson. Up and no good. Rebounded. And finally going to be off of... Say it's going to be off of Fort Morgan and out of bounds. So they will retain possession as they will inbounds. Just in front of their bench. With Ethan Tyson. Now to Brooks. They're going to try to get it underneath. And ball is going to be tipped away but taken by Erie. So into the lane, that layup is far. Oh, in and out, and rebounded by Norris. Nice, strong rebound by Norris. That ball was halfway down and came out. Now Marquez is going to drive it down. And the foul is going to be called on Erie on a block. And that foul, I believe that was on number 15, Loy. That will be his second. So that will send Marquez to the line to shoot two. He is scoreless so far tonight. He had 20 the other night. Also 8 of 9 from the free throw line. And that free throw is nothing but net for Marquez. Andres Dubre comes in for Norris. Going to give Norris a little blow here before the <coughs> start of the fourth period. So Marquez... Also, nothing but net on that second one. So 32-29. Mustangs up. The Erie Tigers still have not scored yet so far. And a turnover. Now another turnover by the Mustangs. And we have a jump called. And that will be possession to the Mustangs. <clears throat> but turnover after turnover. They had back-to-back turnovers. And then a tie-up on the floor. So possession arrow to the Mustangs with a minute 41 to go. They're up 32-29. As they get the ball into Derek uh, Serenana. Now handed off to Edson. Edson now to Linker out high. Linker's going to dribble off to Marquez. Marquez at the left elbow is going to pull it back out. Minute and a half to go. Marquez picks up his dribble. Gives it off now to Serenana. He goes left to right now to Cardona, who has come in for Norris. Now to Serenana, underneath to, uh, to uh, excuse me, to Cardona. Missed the shot, but got his own rebound. And then he was fouled on the shot, and I believe that was on Brooks. That would be his second. So Adam Cardona will go to the line to shoot two. The Mustangs are three of four so far here in this 
third period from the charity stripe, leading 32-29. And that free throw is nothing but net for Adam Cardona. Now Nick Norris will come in for a little bit for Isaac Linker. Linker with just the two points, but does have nine rebounds. 33-29. Cardona, nice. I believe they wiped that off. Uh, don't know what, uh, must have had his foot on the line or something. I'm not sure just what it was. The outside ref looked like he called it, so I'm not sure just what the infraction was, but the Erie with possession tipped away, but retained by the by the Tigers as they are still scoreless here in this third period. The Mustangs up 33-29. Now kick it off. The little jumper for the left side is going to be up and no good. Rebounded uh, by Serenana. Serenana all the way up and good was Marquez on the layup. 35-29. Now a little jump from the right side is going to be in and out. Rebounded by Nick Norris. If they hold this for their last shot, Erie will have gone scoreless in this third period. This was a 29-23 contest at halftime for Erie. So 12 points by the Mustang. That layup is going to be no good by Marquez, but he was hammered on the shot. Now we'll see who that foul goes on. And that will go on Mendoza. will be his third. So Marquez will go back to the line to shoot two. Where he was two of two just a minute ago. 35-29. Mustangs. That free throw is up and also nothing but net. So Rojo comes in for Edson here with the last 9.9 .9 seconds. And that free throw also up and good for Marquez. So he's six points here in this quarter. With five seconds, four seconds. And that shot is going to be short. So the Mustangs held Erie scoreless in that third period as the Mustangs lead it by eight now. 37-29 as we go to the fourth quarter on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. 37-29 here Mustangs as we start this fourth period. So a fairly clean as far as fouls are concerned. Five team fouls on the Tigers so far and two so far on the Mustangs here in the second half. I'm not sure they're checking something with different scoreboards. I'm not sure what they're looking at for sure, but they're showing that the south one is, they look like the same score, but they're pointing to the south one like that's the one they're going to use. But Erie with possession, now a quick foul by Serenana on the inbounds. That's one on Serenana. So Erie to inbounds, left baseline of their basket. With the Mustangs up, eight. They do get it in over on the far side to Tyson. Tyson up top now to Loy. Loy's gonna, gonna call a foul, another quick foul, I believe, on David Serenana. So that will be his second. Two quick fouls here. Now they get it into Nugent on the left side, gonna be back out front to Lucero. Now to Loy. Loy, the little spinner, up and good for Loy. So Serenana into the front court, going to drive it all the way down. The layup is going to be up and no good, rebounded by Norris. And they're going to call over the... They're going to call Norris over the back, I believe. Yeah, we're going to call Norris over the back. That'll be his third. So he's, he's still all right. He just needs to get better position so 37-31 Mustangs as we play here in the fourth quarter as they look to get their second victory in the league now Loy going to drive it down into the lane another lay layup is going to be up and no good rebounded by Linker I have 10 on the night for Linker as they get it into the hands of Rojo 
Now to Surinana. Surinana's going to drive it down, pick it up, and now back to Link to uh, Norris. And up and good is Nick Norris. So Norris has come alive here in this second half. He set most of the first half with two fouls. Does have three now. 39-31 Mustangs with 6.51 to go in the game. So out front, three was going to be taken and then not. And now Nugent with a three, and that is up and good. His first bucket of the night. So Serenana walks that ball. It does get it up into the front court. Keeps that dribble alive over on the far right side. Side now to Rojo. Back to Norris. Norris to Linker on the baseline. Norris or er, Linker is going to be fouled on the shot. And that will be on Nugent. That will be four. So Linker will go to the line to shoot two. It'll be his first trip to the line. So Linker on the air shooting at 53%. That one is going to be off the side of the rim and no good. So Caden Edson and Jacob Ortega come in for Rojo and Marquez. So we'll see if Linker can get free throw number two to fall here. And that is off the front of the rim and no good. Going to be taken by the Mustangs. Good job. And Nick Norris with a bucket. Up and good. But the rebound was to Edson. He gave it off to Linker, and then he found Norris underneath. 41-34 Mustangs with just under six minutes to go. Ball is going to be taken away by the Mustangs as Jacob Ortega intercepted that pass. 41-34. Now to Edson on the far right wing. Back out to Serenana out at the point. Serenana into the lane. Now there's going to be a reach foul on Erie. And that will be on Loy. That will be his third. So the Mustangs will will be a one and one, I believe. I believe that's seven team fouls. So that will send David Serenana to the line to shoot a one and one. Serenana on the year shooting at 61%. See if he can increase this lead here a little bit. And that is up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Brooks. So now over on the far side to Rademacher. Rademacher is going to pull it back out. Now over on the far side to Tyson. Tyson's going to drive it in. Now he's going to give it off to Rademacher. So he's going to pull it out behind the three-point line. Now he's going to drop for a three and up and no good. But rebounded to Tyson. With 5.16 to go, the Mustangs up 41-34. Over on the near side to Brooks. Brooks being guarded by Norris. Now up top to Rademacher. Now over into this near corner. I believe that is Loy. Now into the lane, and that left-handed shot is going to be up and good by Lucero. Ball into... Right now a foul is going to be called... Looks like the timeout was taken before any foul or any uh, change of possession there. So a full timeout is going to be taken. So we'll take on with them. And the Mustangs up by 5, 41 to 36 on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Mustangs look, look, look to get the ball in. They do to Serenana in the back court. And he runs it up into the front court, picks up his dribble. And looks to get rid of it. He does finally to Ortega, who is back into the game for the Mustangs. Ortega is going to go over to the left side. Gives it off to Edson on the left baseline. And that ball is going to be tipped away. It's going to be kept. Nice job by Norris. If he get it off to Serenana over on the right side. 425 to go. The Mustangs. The ball is going to be a foul. Is going to be called underneath before the shot. And that will be Brooks. That will be his third. This will send Nick Norris to the line to shoot a one and one. Let's see if Nicky was one of one earlier. Shoots at 55%. Let's see if he can drop this first one in. He does, so he will earn a second for Norris.
10 points in this half for Norris, plus about six rebounds. So Norris, a lane violation on Fort Morgan. So no second shot. I don't know what happened. I think maybe Caden Edson stepped out of the lane for, for or something. I'm not sure what it was. But no second shot for Norris. So 42-36. They look to get the ball in and taken away. Let's see what where the call is going to be. They're going to call that on Fort Morgan. They're going to call that on a hook on Caden Edson. So they will inbound left baseline of their basket. Edson asking the ref just what he had done. So. Off of Edson and out of bounds, so Erie will retain. Still left baseline. They get it in on the far side to Rademacher. Rademacher picks up through the dribble now, hands it off to Tyson. Four minutes left here. The Mustangs up 6, 42-36. Now to Brooks down low as he goes in against Norris. And that shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Norris. Gets it into the hands of Serenana. Serenana now over to Edson on the left wing. Picks it up, gives it off to Norris out high, and out to Ortega on the right wing. 336, 42 36 Mustangs. Ortega picks it up, gives it off to Linker, now underneath to Norris. Up and good. Nick Norris at the bucket. Nice pass there on the assist to Linker. And now a timeout is going to be taken by the Erie Tigers, and it'll be a full one, so we'll take one with them. 44-36, the Mustangs up with 3.25 to go here on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. 3.25 left here to go here in this contest. The Mustangs up 44-36. to They held Erie scoreless in that third period. It was a 29-23 advantage, Erie. That turned into a 37-29 advantage. Fort Morgan at the end of the third period. The Mustangs outscored them 14-0 in that third period. And a steal by the Mustangs. As they get the ball in, Linker brings it across the court. And now to Ortega. Going to get it. They're going to call an offensive foul on Nick Norris. Said they pushed. That's, they're reaching there for a foul call there. That's his fourth. He must have said he pushed him in the back to get open. I was kind of watching Link. I really didn't see what had happened there. But Nugent back into the game for Erie. Now a bump foul is going to be called. That will send. Let's see who that is. That foul was on David Serenana. That will be his third. Trying to see who that is. That is going to be Tyson to the line to shoot a one and one. Both teams with 18 fouls. And that first free throw is up and good. Forty-four thirty-seven. And they finally get the ball back to Tyson. And that free throw also up and good. 12 points on the night for Tyson. Now Marquez into the game. They're going to set Norris for... I can't believe they're going to set him very long. As hot as he has been, it works underneath. But they might want him for the last minute, minute and a half of the game. They get the ball into Ortega. Ortega now to Linker as they're still in the backcourt. They've got to get the ball up court, and they do to Edson. Back out to Ortega. Ortega to Marquez over in the right corner. Now back out front to Serenana, 244. 44 38 Mustangs. And they've got to get the ball to. That was up and taken away finally by Linker. And then it's going to be taken away. A turnover, and that looked like a good block by Edson, but they're going to call a foul on Edson. 
As that will send Lloyd to the line to shoot two, they're going to say Edson with a foul. But Lloyd to the line to shoot two. They're going to take a time here a minute for Edson to get his right shoe tied back up. So Lloyd with free throw number one, and that rolls around and out. So Lloyd on the night with 12 points. Adam Cardona in for Jacob Ortega. So Isaac Winker on the floor. Adam Cardona, Caden Edson, and that free throw is going to be up and good for Loy as they get the ball in. Now it's going to be a foul called, I believe, on Nugent, and if that's on him, he is out. They're going to call a foul on the inbounds play, and that is on him, and that is five. He will be done for the night as he will have three points on the night and five, five fouls. So David Serenana will go to the line to shoot a one and one. So this is where they need to try to help put this game away. It's here at the free throw line. So Serenana, that first free throw bounces around and no good going to be. Oh, nice job by Serenana on the get the ball back in. First by Linker. And then back underneath and layup is going to be up and good by Isaac Winker. As he worked it around and finally got the ball up to the hoop, 46-39. Nice block there. Another block by Winker. Back-to-back blocks by Isaac Winker. Get the hands into the, in the hands of Marquez. Marquez is going to go up for the layup, but he is going to be fouled. Nice job by Fernando Marquez. Now a technical foul has been called on the coach of Erie. Yeah, I think he must have been upset about the maybe the blocks. And that foul is going to be on Tyson. It will be his first. But we'll see who they will shoot the technical first and then shoot the one and one or shoot the two shots. But each team going to the their respective benches as they get this figured out. But it will be Fernando Marquez to shoot free throws. He will shoot the two free throws. Then I'm sure he'll shoot the technical fouls also. Also. So Fernando Marquez will sh- go to the line. to shoot two. A minute 52 left here. Mustangs up five. 46-41. Well, Marquez has been perfect from the line so far. This is tough shooting here when you're about there by yourself. That one's off the front of the rim and no good. So he needs to he need to shoot the, make these free throws. And that free throw is in and out. Missed both of them. He had been perfect from the line. And now who are they going to have shoot free throws? Caden Edson is going to go shoot technical fouls, probably because Marquez was just 0 for 2. So Edson with 8 points on the night. Edson's free throw is up and nothing but net. And he will get another. That makes it a six-point advantage, 47-41 Mustangs with a minute 52. Nothing but net also for Caden Edson. Ten points on the night for Edson, plus possession to the Mustangs. Adam Cardona comes out, Nick Norris back into the game. So the Mustangs with the ball into the hands of Serenana into the front court. The ball is going to be taken away. And then a foul is going to be called on the shot. But Linker prevented the uh, layup. 
So nice job there by Linker to stop the automatic two. But that will send Tyson to the line to shoot to where he is two of two. Shot a couple just a, mi a couple minutes ago. The minute 42 left. The Mustangs up seven, 48, 41. And that free throw is up and good. So he will shoot foul shot number two here. And that is up and also nothing but net. And now it looks like a full timeout is going to be taken here by the Erie Tigers. We'll take one with them here with a minute 42 left. The Mustangs up 5, 48-43 on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. 48-43 as we look at the last minute and 42 here of this contest. Mustangs led this one 37-29 to start this fourth period. So we've got Isaac Linker, Nick Norris, Fernando Marquez, David Serenana, and Cade Nedson on the floor for the Mustangs as they will inbounds near court. They'll have to go full length. They get it into Serenana over in the corner. Serenana with the ball into the front court now. And they're on the five-second count. they got to get it in. They get it to Edson. Edson to Marquez. Marquez is going to drive it down. It's going to be taken away, though, by Erie. As they're going to pull it back out. <laughs> With Rademacher, he's going to hand it off now to Lucero. Lucero's going to drive it down. Now over into the corner to Loy. So a minute 14. With Lucero. Now it's going to be taken away by the Mustangs. And then knocked to the floor. Oh, they're going to call a jump? Are you kidding me? How do they call a jump ball when you get knocked to the floor? But retained by the possession now to the Mustangs. As they get it into Serenana in the backcourt. <clears throat> Picks up his dribble. Now they're off to Marquez into the front court. Should have been a foul call there. He knocked the ball right out of his hand. And a foul is going to be called on the pass with 53.9 seconds. And that foul will be on Lucero, his second. So Marquez will go back to the line. And shoot two. We'll see if he can rebound here from where he was just a minute ago. He missed two. And now that one is up and good for Marquez. Eight points lead now for the Mustangs. 49-41, 53.9 seconds. Next free throw is off the front of the rim. No good. Rebounded, though, by Nick Norris. And now a foul was called underneath Nick Norris, though, with a strong rebound. That's 10 rebounds on the night for Norris. He just kind of got tangled up under there. That there wasn't anything malicious going on. But that foul was on Lloyd. That will be his fourth. But Nick Norris to the line to shoot two. They just got tangled up underneath there after the rebound but nice job by Nick Norris that free throw rolls around and in for Norris thirteen points in this second half for Nick Norris got nineteen on the night next free throw rolls around and he gets the gets the uh, roll there so 10 point lead here for the Mustangs with 51.6 seconds to go we're going to take a short time out and be back with the end of the contest here on B106 and B106.com. 1 to 41, the Mustangs here with 51.6 seconds to go. Nick Norris just hit two big free throws, but he has had a big second half. All totally he has 10 rebounds unofficially. He had about two, I believe, about at, in the first half. He sat for quite a while with two free throws or two uh, uh, fouls. He does have four now. But Caden Edson, Isaac Linker, uh, Fernando Marquez, Jacob Ortega, and David Serenana on the floor. Now into the corner. The layup is going to be up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Loy. Going to be taken away by Ortega, though. And now a foul is going to be called in the backcourt. 
And that will be on Cole Rademacher. That will be his third. And that will send David Serenano to the line to shoot. To shoot two. Serenana has missed two, three front ends of a one and one so far tonight. So we'll see if he can connect here on one of these free throws. 38.8 seconds. And that was not a good looking free throw by David Serenana. But the Mustangs with the 10 point advantage here. And that free throw also not good. And that rebound to uh, Erie and that shot is going to be up but no good going to be rebounded and they're probably going to be a foul on Sari Nana see if they give that and that will and that will be on Sari Nana that will be his fourth and Tristan Tr Tristan Rademacher to the line to shoot two with 30.1 seconds that free throw is going to bounce and roll out on the other side So the Mustangs still with their 10-point lead with 30.1 seconds. That free throw uh, rolls in and is good. So they get the ball into the hands of Ortega, and now a foul is going to be called, and that will be on Tyson. That will be his second. So that will send Jacob Ortega to the line to shoot a couple. This will be his first time at the free throw line tonight. This will be three free throws 17 and 18 for the Mustangs. Just here in this fourth period. They were two of five in that first half. So 29 seconds left here, 51-42, and that free throw is nothing but net for Jacob Ortega. So he will get free throw number two here, and that is off the rim and no good. Going to be rebounded by Lucero as they get it up into the corner now, and that three is going to be up and good by Rademacher. So a 30-second timeout will be taken by Erie. So we'll just keep it here. The Mustangs making some of their free throws here to at least make it a decent spread on the scoreboard. 52 to 45 with 20.6 seconds. But you know they're going to be fouled. Erie will come out and probably try to at least get a five second count or try to steal on the inbounds and then if they aren't successful with that they will be rebounding the rebound will, will be fouling to try to get the ball back but the Mustangs will inbounds here on this north end as they have to go the length of the court 52-45 as Linker Gets it into Edson over on the right side. Edson picks, Edson picks it up, and then a foul is called right away. And they're going to call that on Tyson. That will be his third. So that will send Caden Edson back to the line to shoot two, where he shot the two technicals earlier and made both of them. So we'll see if we can get a nine-point lead here. If he can make these two free throws and that one is in and out that thing was halfway down and popped back out so we'll see now if we can see if Edson could drop this next one with 18.3 seconds and that free throw is up and good for Caden Edson here he with the ball up in the front court they're going to try a three from the corner and that is up and good by Tyson Morgan now gets the ball into the back court. Now that's going to be a foul over on the other side, and that is going to be on Rad Cole Rademacher. That will be his fourth. That will send Marquez to the line to shoot two. So 
So Marquez was one of one his last time up. 53-48. Net free throw is up and nothing but net for Marquez. So if the Mustangs can pull this out, that'll put them at 2-7 and seven in league and 5-11 and 11 overall. Marquez's next free throw up and also good for the freshman. He is 3 of 6 here in this fourth period. Now a deep 3, and that is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Linker. And that will bring this game to an end. So a nice game here. Back-to-back wins for the uh, Fort Morgan boys as they beat Roosevelt on Thursday. And now they have beaten the Erie Tigers 55-48. to We will take a three-minute break and be back with the postgame show on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. The Fort Morgan Mustangs postgame show is brought to you by Morgan Community College. Morgan Community College is there to make your dreams become a reality for both traditional and non-traditional students. Check them out at morgancc.edu. Well, nice win here for the Fort Morgan Mustang boys here tonight as they win at 55 to 48. They led at 14 to 12 after one. They were behind at half 29 to 23, but held Erie scoreless in that third period to go up 37 to 29, and then out then uh, kept the game uh, uh, you know close here in the fourth period as Erie outscored them 19 to 18, but Fort Morgan did come away with the 55 to 48. Uh, victory for the Erie Tigers leading the way for them was Tyson with 17 and then Loy with 13. That was followed up by Cole Rademacher with 5. Uh, uh, Tristan Trademacher with 3. Alexander with 3. Nugent with 3. And Hargrave with 2 for their 48 points. For the Mustangs leading the way tonight, big second half with 14 points. That second half was Nick Norris with 20. And that was followed up by Caden Edson with uh, 11, uh, Marquez with 9. And that was followed up by uh, Serenana, Linker, and Dubray, each with 4 apiece, Ortega with 1, and Rojo with 1, along with uh, Adam Cardona with his 1 free throw. But the Mustangs were 18 of 35 uh, From the free throw line, they shot 22 free throws in that fourth period alone. They were 10 of 22, so they were just over 50%, 51% from the free throw line. But work did make 10 points there from the free throw line. So nice night for the Mustangs. As far as rebounding goes, I had Isaac Linker with 13 and Nick Norris with 10. Serenana with 3, Edson with 1, Marquez with 1, Cardona with 2, and Dubray with 1. So nice job here by the Mustangs as they get back-to-back victories uh, last Thursday against Roosevelt and then again tonight. And now they will face uh, the uh, Holy Family Tigers on Tuesday. That will be a 7 o'clock game along. Before that will be the girls game and that will be at that will be at uh, 5.30. Our Mustang player of the game is brought to you by TransWest. TransWest believes that customers are number one. Check out their selection online or just stop by one of their dealerships in Fort Morgan or Sterling today. And I know he's had a few of the uh, uh, players of the game that we're going to go again tonight with Nick Norris as he comes in with 14 points in that uh, fourth or in the second half along with his 10 rebounds. So Nick Norris is going to be our TransWest player of the game. He also was four of four of six from the free throw line. He made two big free throws there in that, or three big free throws there in that fourth period. But uh, everybody uh, contributed nicely tonight for the Mustangs as they now go up uh, two and seven in league, four or five and uh, 11 overall. That drops Erie now to six and 10 and they're also at two and seven in league. But once again, we said the boys, the teams will be on the floor again on Tuesday as they will host the uh, Fort or the uh, excuse me, Holy Family Tigers, as uh, they come in uh, ranked number three in the state. So a big game for the Mustangs on on uh, Tuesday night. Excuse me. 
Great job tonight. Our sound engineer and producer of Fort Morgan's Mustangs basketball has been Harry Curtis. Nice job tonight by Harry. I'm Brian Nickel. Once again, our final two scores tonight. The Fort Morgan Mustangs drop their game by 10, 46 to 36. The Mustangs win a nice game here, 55 to 48. This is Brian Nickel. You've been listening to Fort Morgan Mustangs basketball on B106 and B106.com.